everyone, it's Olivia from Girly Bunches and in this week's video I'm going to be showing you how I made this little crochet Christmas cracker. A little quick project to do, quite sweet and will definitely look cute on your Christmas tree. And you can just sort of tie a ribbon here or so, you know, some yarn just to have it have a hanging decoration. Entirely up to you. Or they might look lovely on a table as a table decoration. Obviously not going to get the real deal out of a, this Christmas cracker because this one doesn't um, pop and have little toys inside but definitely will look cute on your table as a Christmas decoration for your Christmas dinner. So I'm going to show you how I made this. So I'm going to make this one in a green colour this time so obviously I've got a red one and I'm going to have a green one. So I'm going to use some double knit yarn and my trusty 4 mil hook. Um, obviously if you're making this um, with some different weight of yarn then you'll just need to reduce or increase the number of stitches but you're aiming for something not too big um, not too small but if you wanted to make it bigger then obviously that's up to you so I'm just going to start with 15 chains and one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now I'm going to do a slip stitch into that first chain. So just put the hook through and then just draw yarn through both of those loops. That's a slip stitch. And now I've got a loop. Okay, so I'm going to chain one and I'm going to do a double crochet into that first space that I already did slip stitch into. So that's one. So I know that as a double crochet. You may know that as a single crochet, but I'm British, so I call that a double. And now I'm going to just do a double crochet all the way around until I get back to the beginning. So I'll end up with 15 double crochets. So just keep making your way around. Try not to twist the chain as you're going round. And by that I mean you want to have it so that you've got that V to work into that there. Okay. So I'm going to come back when I've got all the way round and back to the beginning again. So I've got 15 double crochets all the way round now and I just need to slip stitch into that first double crochet I did which is just there okay so that's the first round so now I'm going to do again one chain and one double crochet into that same stitch and again I'm going to do 15 double crochets all the way around and I'm going to do six rows in total like that Make sure you don't lose count and make sure you have 15 uh, stitches all the way around because if you have less then it will get it will taper in and you don't want that. We just want to keep this the same width all the way around. So make sure you have your 15 stitches as you go around and we want six rows of that. So if I just get the finished one, we can see we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Once you've done six rows of double crochet you're then going to do a row of treble because in here I've done one row of trebles just to make it easier to squish down and you'll see when when I've done it on this one because you, you'll want to wrap something around that and if it's too firm like this double crochet stitch it might be a bit difficult to do plus also <laughs> if you do a treble in the middle of uh, you know it during the process it's less rounds to do and um you know, makes the project go a bit quicker. So um, I'm just going to do the six rounds that I need on this one and I'll come back and show you the treble. Okay, so there we go. I've got my six rounds of double crochet made and now I'm going to do one round of trebles. So instead of just, um, instead of doing one chain and then a double crochet, we're just going to do three chains to replace that first treble and then into each of the stitches all the way around, we're just going to do one treble so that will end up with 15 trebles all together. So there's the 
there's my 15 trebles and I'm just going to do a slip stitch now into that third chain from the beginning and that will finish off that round let me get that to focus there we go you can see now that uh, I've got my double crochets and now my treble so now what I'm going to do is I'm now going to work the main body of the cracker so this part here is double the let rows of this part so where I had six here I now need to do 12 so that's quite a few rounds obviously and um, then I'm going to do a repeat of the trebles and then I'm going to do six rows of the double crochet just to finish it off so that gives it the, um, the cracker shape. So I'm going to come back when I've got the rest of this worked so that just to recap so that's going to be six rounds of the double crochet, one round of the treble, 12 rounds of the double crochet, one round of the treble and then six rounds of the double crochet again. So once I've done all of that I will come back and show you how I put this together. Okay so like I said I have come back now after doing my six rows here, one row of double crochet, one row of trebles, 12 rows of double crochet, one row of treble and six rows of double crochet and as you can see I have been <laughs> branding myself with the uh, yarn so yes that's a uh, that's, do you, do you, does anyone else get that? <laughs> I do. Anyway, so now we've done that, what we need to do is sew in our ends and then put the stuffing into the middle. Okay, so the ends are sewn in. And now what I'm going to do is going to put some um, wadding into the middle part. So just take some, I'm not going to use all of that, but just take some of the soft toy um, filling and um, you want to get that into the middle. So now what we need to do is we need to pinch in these, end, these ends to give us the cracker look. So all I'm doing for that is I'm taking some contrasting yarn and I'm literally just going to wrap it around. And as you can see, the, the where you've put the trebles, it makes it much softer and much easier to see where you're going to be pinching that in. So that's, you know, you don't have to guess, am I getting that in the right place? You can see exactly where you're going to put it and that treble is much softer so you can pinch in quite nicely so I'm just going to leave a bit of a tail on one end and then just wrap this yarn around and that's all I'm doing so I might just sort of pull that in maybe tie a knot as you go on that first on that first twist just so that it pulls it in nicely and then just wrap it around a few times you could use ribbon nothing to stop you from using ribbon I'm just using this um, cream yarn just because I've got it in my Christmas colours and I'm going to leave a tail I'm going to tie another knot here and I'll sew those ends in so you won't, they won't be seen so I'll just tie a double knot like that and I'm going to do exactly the same on the other side it as you wish so on this red one I just did this cute little bow which I've done a video on how to do that cute bow so I'll still put a, uh, a link in the description box below and there you go that is how I make crochet Christmas crackers so I really hope you enjoyed this video I'd love a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video if you did I would love that um, if you haven't subscribed and you would like to it's very simple to do just click on the the subscribe button down below and then that helps my channel because it shows that you're enjoying what I'm, I'm showing you and uh, you'll then be notified each week when I put a video up showing you different things that you can make. So 
that's my video and um, enjoy making these leave me comments down below there's links to my facebook instagram and twitter and my blog down below so do check that out and thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next video thanks bye bye